Ryan Wolfmuller here, Everbook Inventor. I still think that's kind of cool, Inventor. <laughs> Talked about annual review. How do you do an annual review with your uh, with your Everbook? I'm going to show you how I do it, and I'm going to look forward to hearing your suggestions in the comments below. I know you guys probably have tons and tons of thoughts and ideas about this, but I'm going to go to the desk shot so I can show you what I'm doing and talk about it. Annual review is much more than a chance to do an in-depth weekly review. It's really about there's some nostalgia and some emotion in it. It's looking over a year of, of the highs and the lows, what was thought, what was done, etc. Especially 2020, a huge year in the life of the world and in each one of our lives. So to take some time and to reflect on it is great. Uh, these changes of the years are really good occasions for that. So I made a list of the things that I want to work on on annual review. Now, I admit that I've already done this, so I'm going back and reproducing it a little bit for you guys. But looking at the 2020 milestones, that's the deadline departures list. 2020 big picture, which is a half page that I try to write every year that sort of sets the tone for the year. My 2020 to done file. And in fact, I'm going to start as part of my annual review, my 2021 to done file. Got a couple things in there already. We're a few weeks into the into the year. Uh, the 2020 archive. So all my notes and where they've gone. And I suppose I'm starting a 2021 archive here pretty soon. I'm going to try to get current all my systems. So all my loose leaf pages, all my projects, make sure everything's up and current. I'm looking for highlights, making a list of those things. For, and maybe I'm making those that list on my 2020 milestones. That's there. My insights that I'm jotting on these notes for smart notes, ideas to add to project lists, someday maybe, so forth and so on. So it starts with two particular documents. Now, in my way of working, I've got a I've got, I've got a work week bundle, which is basically like a a weekly review at a glance. So things I want to look at every week. Um, what that looks like here. So here was 2020. What's the big picture? I just jotted down some things that I wanted to think about this year. And this is going to be the first page that I put into my 2020 to done. But I want to I want to keep that handy as I do my annual review. And I'm going to see how, how those things came to life uh, this year. And then I'm going to grab my deadlines and departures and milestones. You can see that I added some things in when we started some different things, when I got sick or when COVID started, uh, when I myself was sick and some of the other things like, for example, look, there's the Everbook launch October 15th. So I'm highlighting this sort of thing. And this gives me an overview of the things that were done. There were so many X's this year because of COVID, so many things that were canceled, so many things that were delayed. And that gives me at a glance this, this particular year. So these two documents are going to go into my 2021 to done file. I want to keep, as I do this annual review, I want to keep my project lists handy. So there's my church and my extra stuff project list because I want to be able to jot stuff down uh, in there and the rest of this can go uh, into my into my Everbook. Now for an annual review then, where am I on my list? I, I will look at the milestones, the big picture. I want to look at my to done stuff. Now, this is an amazing thing. I don't know. Uh, this file is basically all my weekly worksheets uh, all and all my projects that go in there as they're finished. Now, sometimes a project won't go in here too, but like there was, a, for example, a funeral uh, that was in there. Um, here was a travel week and some teaching and instruction that I did. So as the uh, some follow-up stuff for pain, uh, for our Spain trip, for some other project. Um, so some of these projects are in here. A project pack that was finished. So I can look here and I could I can scan over the weeks and I could see what I wanted to do, what I did do, how I was thinking about these things, so forth and so on. And and I'm going to go through here and and just sort of see the week. There's a lot of things to see in here, uh, especially if I was better at putting, for example, the wins. You know, there's a column in my weekly review for um, uh, for what I accomplished that particular week. That's a fun thing to look at, but I have to admit that most of the time I don't get to that. But I'll, I'm going to go through here and see all the different stuff that uh, was accomplished. It's kind of an amazing thing to do, to go back and look at a year's worth of work that's all logged like this and to and to appreciate it and see what's there. So so that's the next step. And then that goes into a file. I keep the last year's there and then the other one I sort of file away 
uh, in my sort of long-term storage. And then to go through the archiver, if you're taking your notes, and this is just my notes for conversations for uh, every morning when I get up and I put some stuff in the log, it should start in January 1st. Uh, here's what was on my mind. And I just actually look through this whole deal and I, and I basically read through what I was working on for the whole year, what I was thinking about, what I was uh, praying for, what I was working on, what I was imagining. Uh, liturgy is narrative, comic subculture, Bible is epic fantasy book, uh, the popularity of ancient aliens, what's going on with that. This is kind of a whole year of stuff that was going on here. I, I don't know what this is. Let's see here. Um, old, close food friends, new, seek God's kingdom enemies. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at just my unfinished thoughts, ideas, uh, Italy tour, postponed, uh, how do we log the COVID crisis, Easter Monday. There's, so there's just a lot of notes and thoughts in here, some sermon notes, some things like this. And I'll go through this stuff, uh, some books that I was reading, some things that I was thinking about, um, email theology questions, stuff like this. And if I, there's a project, then I'll write it over here. If there's a uh, idea, I'll write it on a, I'll put it on a note and put it in my things like this. I'll, I'm pulling stuff out, thinking through here. Uh, look, here's when I got sick and I couldn't write anymore. So there, there was, so, so all that is in here too. So that's good to, to just have around uh, and to have available and so forth. Here is what I was trying to think about uh, time and what it meant to to work when I was when I had lost my mind and trying to regain it. So it's nice to have that all kind of logged away and so forth and so on. That's all there in the logbook. And so I go through that and I'm looking for stuff that's uh, that I've forgotten about, something that is interesting to me, so forth and so on. Uh, it's kind of nice uh, to do that. And so that's all there. I've I've put a couple of projects in there. Um, Reformation 2020. Um, uh, COVID reflections, some other stuff that's there. I put a few projects at the end of that archiver, so that's all uh, there as well. So I'm going to go through all of that, blam, and consider the work and the thoughts and stuff like that, and I'm capturing it all. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to pull out all my Everbook stuff. So all my projects, my current Everbook, uh, all my projects that I have, uh, hanging around on my desk to be done. And I'm going to whoom through all of that stuff to make sure that they are always fresh, every book always fresh, uh, that we know what happens to stuff we take out, etc., etc. So that's what an Everbook annual review looks like. Boy, oh boy, I love it because it's all there to look at and see. You can spread it out and then you can pack it all back up. So when I'm done, I'm going to start my 2021 to done folder and I'm going to put my 2020 uh, highlights for the year, my 2020 big picture. I'm going to close those up and I'm going to start logging the stuff as now it comes down to me in the year of our Lord 2021. That is helpful for you, uh, and I'd love, I, oh man, would I love to know your thoughts about that and how you manage an annual review and what it looks like with Everbook uh, this year. I, I know a lot of you guys are getting started, so you don't have this long sort of paper trail that I've, I've built up. I think one of the joys of Everbook is that you can keep what you want to keep, you get rid of what you want to get rid of, and you can move things around. Here's active, this is not active, this is resting, this is logged and archived and so forth and so on. Um, one of the things that we're thinking about, and if this is interesting to you, please let us know, but to have a, a simpler Everbook without the flaps, just an Ever, Everbook archiver that allows us to simply archive stuff and have it on the shelf so we can have a, a you know, a 2020, 2021, we can have archived stuff that'll sit there on the shelf and look nice, be uh, appealing and pleasant and so forth. I probably got to come up with a better way of doing it than a cut up manila folder, but oh well, you know, we do, we do what we can. I always remember I was in this gas station in Nandi, Fiji when I was 17 years old and they had paper and a pencil. And I thought then that all I should ever need to work is paper and pencil. And I don't wonder if Everbook was that sort of thought 
coming full circle. So paper and pencil, that's all we need. So we have it. Uh, we're thankful for it. And we're able to work and to serve and to do more good and bless each other with it. So hopefully this is helpful. Again, please, please let me know your thoughts and, uh, and your ideas as well. And we can put those, if you make a video of it, I'd love to post it up here on the channel as well. So you can send me that with all the links, uh, instructions how to do that at Everbook Forever. And uh, keep doing more good. Talk to you soon.